How many people have jobs that are listening right now? Comment if you have a job career that you've been working at, right? For however many years, comment, okay? So many people I work with that have jobs or careers are trying to make a high ROI outside of their skills, gifts, and talents, and they're putting themselves in high-risk situations. An online business, an online store, the crypto, the, the, the Forex, the trading, that has nothing to do with their skills, gifts, and talents. And I talk to them, I'm like, hey, you're really good at this construction thing. You're really good at this hospitality thing. You're really good in, in this service field. Why are you exerting so much energy over here that has nothing to do with you? Did you know that if you were to simply start talking to the movers and shakers of your industry, you possibly could land a six-figure paying job like that? Go from 70K a year to 150,000? Go from 70K a year to 100,000? I mean, really look at the ROI on that. If you're making 70 grand and you take a portion of your money to go risk it over here to earn a a high rate of return versus retain the cash flow, keep it here, improve your skills more in construction that you're working in that could get you from making 70K a year to $90,000 a year. What's the gain on that? Someone put it in the comments. What's the gain from 70,000 and in one year, 12 months, you're now earning 90,000 a year. And that's 90,000 moving forward year after year after year after year after year versus taking a portion of your 70 to earn 15%. Take your 70, turn it into 90. Take your 90, turn it into 110. Like go the route, build your skills. And then guess what happens? You build your skills, gifts and talents high enough. And then you're like, maybe I can go do this myself. Boom, start the business, making more money, servicing more people. And then again, that revenue starts to feed all of this over time. Bum, 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 bum. Thank you.